Hey, little Rico. Tonight, we're trying to save millions of birds and other wild animals who are dying slow, painful deaths from lead poisoning, like these poor ducks we're seeing here. The Humane Society of the United States and many other animal protection and conservation groups have joined together to demand in a petition that the Department of the Interior ban the use of lead ammunition on federal lands. We reached out to the Secretary of the Interior, Sally Jewell, for comment. Still waiting to hear back from that lady. Lead can cause brain damage, organ failure, death. This is the ammo that continues to kill long after it leaves the chamber. Every year, can you believe this? 10 to 20 million birds and other wild animals die from lead poisoning. Now, a lot of animals are shot with lead bullets. They don't die immediately. Lead leaks into their bodies and they die long, slow, painful deaths. The stuff is poison. As you can see here, if you eat it, if you eat an animal that's had a lead bullet in it, lead bullets break apart on impact. And uh, that lead seeps into the ground. It gets into our food supply. This is dangerous for animals, for humans, for the entire earth. Straight out to the Humane Society's Mike Mercarian. Uh, Mike, why have you filed this petition? Well, Jane, as you said, millions of birds and other animals are dying and suffering terrible deaths every year because they're poisoned with these lead fragments. They're either ingesting the lead ammunition directly, they're feeding on prey that's been contaminated, or they're, they're scavenging on gut piles that are left behind by hunters. Now, this lead is toxic, it's poisoning the environment, it's poisoning millions of animals, and this is a terrible death for these animals. They're suffering blindness, paralysis, organ failure, seizures. It's a horrible way for them to die, and it's completely unnecessary. There are alternatives in the marketplace. There are copper and steel and other non-lead ammunition. It's accessible, it's affordable, and it's the only responsible choice if you're a hunter. Yeah, and look, if you look at these beautiful, the eagles, all the animals that we spend tax dollars trying to protect, and then this one stupid thing ends up killing millions, 10 to 20 million of them. So guess what? Uh, Secretary of the Interior, Sally Jewell, please listen and make this important change. You can go to our Facebook page, my Facebook page, and sign the petition. It's right there. Now, wild animals aren't the only ones in danger. We have to protect America's horses, part of our heritage. Uh, this show has been on the forefront of horse issues, exposing the awful wild horse roundup under the Interior Department and also fighting horse slaughter. Right now, horse slaughter doesn't happen in the United States. The horses are exported to Mexico and Canada for slaughter all the time, and we've been trying to stop that, too. Uh, one of the reasons horse slaughter plants cannot operate is the government cut funding for inspections. Well, now they're trying to sneak in something called the Mullen Amendment, which would reinstate horse inspections so slaughter would resume in our country. Uh, very quickly, Mike, uh, what do you want people to do? Call their Congress members and say, oppose the Mullen Amendment? Call your Congress members, oppose the Mullen Amendment. The, the federal law prohibits spending of our tax dollars to facilitate horse slaughter. We can't have Congress undo that. Americans don't eat horse meat. We should not kill these companion animals for human consumption. Call your members of Congress and say, we want bills that help animals. Don't kill them.